man fighting uh, his own thoughts, I suppose, about mortality. Uh, and uh, in the stories, you know, there's four characters. There's a character called Joshua, who also has a demon following him. And then there's a, a father, a mother, and a boy. And um, it just s struck me in its e economy of people surviving, uh, not thinking any deep thoughts, but um, just trying to survive and wonder what it's about, if it's about anything. Mm -hmm. um, whereas the Joshua character is contemplating the whole lot. Um, so I found that very, very interesting. So that is what was an actor of the calibre of Ewan McGregor. He's just a, a, a genuinely very warm-hearted man, um, mm -hmm. uh, and very open with everybody, but see the way he goes to work very quietly. Of course, that's because I imagine he's keeping the essence of the character around him, uh, because he has got himself involved in other amazing work involving lots of parties and fun. Um, so that's been a great joy to work with him and, and Ty, who's such a gifted young actor. Ty Sheridan, tr tr I mean, really gifted young actor, very, very real, very thoughtful. In the story, he doesn't b believe particularly in these people who turn up in the desert looking for the meaning of life. He, when he's asked, why do you live here? He says, because it strips you of your vanity and your illusions and you somehow get in touch with who you really are. Um, but Rodriguez always said, you know, don't complicate things, just try and mean them, and, um, which is about the acting of trying to bring out a, an essential truth from inside yourself and to connect. Rodrigo's brought us all together to make a story. I mean, he, I mean he, the story's poor out of Rodrigo, you know. He's a, I mean, he's got so many ideas and uh, comes from good writing stock, I believe. Um, but, you know, he's, so he's always thinking, but... Um, for this particular thing, the piece, Last Days in the Desert, it's, you know, it's a challenging thing to shoot in 24 days to get all this done. And um, they're keeping ahead of it. And I think Bonnie and Julie is producing it. You know, their, their goodwill is, is, is remarkable, considering, you know, the finances they have to work with. Their goodwill is genuine and uh, committed. And you can see it in all the people, in all the departments, whether it's wardrobe, Costume, the drivers, the crew, they try to make everybody, you know, genuinely feel that uh, things are okay, you know, and it's very bare, but it's okay. The fact it's very good.